This is Class Van Tornout Ridley X Knight SL cyclocross bike. And if you couldn't tell just by looking at the paint job, Van Tornout is the current Belgian cyclocross champion, which has to rank up there with world title as one of the most hotly contested races of the year. I think we should start with the contact points on this because as you can see, Class's mechanics and the sponsor have gone to great length to make sure that everything matches up. We've got the yellow bar tape and the red finishing touches on the saddle, which is a Forza, Ridley's in-house component brand, Cirrus saddle, and that has titanium rails. The seat post is also a Forza Cirrus seat post. That's carbon fiber. The stem, Forza Cirrus again, that's aluminium, and the bars are Forza Cirrus Pro handlebars, and they're actually carbon fiber. And interestingly, Van Tornout doesn't wrap his bars all the way to the center, preferring them to be about here. Probably spends most of his time riding on the brake hoods in cyclocross, where you need to be ready to slam on, ready to change gear at any given point. Talking of gearing, he's running Dura Ace DI2 throughout, so SDI levers. There are no additional sprint shifters anywhere, preferring to keep things simple. We've got the Dura Ace DI2 front mech, the rear mech, and cassette and chain. The cassette is an 11 through to 28, and the chain rings are actually 3946, so really standard fare for cyclocross. Van Tornout and the rest of his Sunweb Napoleon Games team are actually one of the few teams who have no riders using a single ring setup, which I think is pretty interesting. The chain set deviates from the Shimano Dura setup, and that's a Rota 3D+, Plus, and that has round, no Q chain rings. Rota, of course, offer ovalized chain rings, but maybe the cyclocross riders prefer just round chain rings to keep things simple. Helping with keeping the chain on, it's got a Rota chain guard attached to that Dura Ace front mech. The crank length is 175, and the pedals that he spins those with are Shimano's XTR, which is an interesting component choice, not because it's top of the range and he's Belgian champion, but because most Cyclocross riders who use Shimano Perils seem to prefer either a prototype version that he doesn't have or Shimano's XT version. XTR sometimes clog up a little with mud, but if you can change bike twice a lap and your mechanics have several clean ones there, it's probably not too much of an issue. Moving on from the things that help Van Tornout to move forward, let's have a look at the things that slow him down. Paired up with these Dura Ace DI2 brake levers, he's got TRP's Revox carbon brakes. So carbon fibre brake arms are lighter than aluminium, potentially a bit stiffer, and there's titanium finishing kit on there, so really keep the weight down. They're high profile, so a powerful brake set rather than one with really high clearance, but if you can change bikes regularly, clearances are maybe less of an issue than they might be for the independent cross rider. These brakes, as I mentioned right at the start, are attached to an absolutely stunning Ridley x Knight SL paint job, but it's not quite a paint job. These are actually decals. So what Ridley have done is they've given him a super light, matte finish, effectively paintless frame, saving a couple of hundred grams and gone for Belgian champion custom design decals. So keeping the weight down, looking good, matching his kit that he's gonna have right up until January 2016. Wheels, wheels and tubs, pretty much the most important component choice you can make for cyclocross and the wheels and the tubs that you use each day really vary depending on the course and the rider. Today, Class has a fast forward wheel set which consists of fast forward carbon fiber rims, which are of a medium depth, I'd say between maybe 45 millimeters, maybe up to 50. They're paired up to DT Swiss hubs. DT Swiss, super reliable brand, Swiss bearings, you probably can't beat them. Class's tire choice though is actually really interesting. He's got a mud tire, a Dugast Rhino 32 millimeter up front, paired with a Dugast Typhoon, so a dry tire, 33 millimeter in the back. Why would he choose this combination? Well, having a mud tire at the front gives you a bit of control in the corners, stops your front wheel sliding out, and your rear tire, which is less likely to slide out, because that's where you've got all your weight when you're cornering, can be faster rolling, so good for straight line speed, putting the power down whilst keeping the control with the front wheel. I think that's everything about covered. Time for some vital stats. The results are in. So, class of saddle height is 79 centimeters, reach is about 58 centimeters, tire widths pretty much spot on. The rear one comes in at 31.74 millimeters, and the front one is 32.4 millimeters one you've all been waiting for, bike weight. It's super light. It's thanks to the lack of paint, the weight saving there, light component choice of the brakes, 7.36 kilos, which when you consider it's a big bike, pretty good. Well, if you want to see more cyclocross pro bikes, and I am absolutely certain that you do, just click right there to get to our full playlist. And if you'd like to learn how to ride cyclocross like a pro, we've got a bunch of how-to and tutorial videos to help you out. Click down there and check them out. Finally, to subscribe to GCN and get more great bikes like this, which, and who wouldn't want that? All you need to do is click on the Belgian champion paint job. <laughs>